In a battle between two top 10 ranked teams, the number 5 Hope College women's basketball team hosted number 8 Kelvin College Tuesday night in front of a record crowd of more than 3,000 fans. And the Flying Dutch fans would leave satisfied as Hope won 73-58. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with how much pressure everybody else was putting on so I could get into the lane um, and, you know, stick my arm in there and get it. Um, a couple of times I felt like they were dribbling it out in front of their body, <laughs> so I would just try and tip it away. But for the most part, I think it was just everybody else is on the same page, um, denying the wings <coughs> and, and den especially denying the, um, the, what's the, the high post. That when we, when we were doing that very well, we got a lot of steals off of that, so I credit a lot of it just to everybody doing what they're supposed to do and, you know, playing the way we play on defense. The Flying Dutch dominated the boards even without injured All-American center Kerry Snickers. I think that, you know, there's, there's no, I don't want to say there's any direct, there's no good that can come from Kerry Snickers being hurt, but I think that a lot of us were becoming very comfortable with Kerry Snickers grabbing the rebound if we missed. And um, I think we took that for granted, and with her out, I think it was a little bit of a slap in the face to a lot of us and um, I think collectively as a team we've just taken it upon ourselves just I mean just to get in there I mean most says you might not always get it but just get your stick your head in there and see if you can get a get a hand on the ball and uh, I think like Miranda to Kuiper the last few games has pulled down some huge offensive boards and given us some some uh, additional um, just goes at the, at the basket again so I think it's just been um, everybody's holding each other accountable and I don't know, it's been working out well for us. Well, we didn't come out as hard as we wanted to. We wanted to come out hard, and we wanted to um, just come out as a team, and we did the opposite. We, we started playing like not with a, as a team. We started playing as individuals, trying to do our own thing. So. You know, at the beginning of the game, it didn't, before we started playing, I don't think we had too many nerves. We were ready to play. But then once we stepped out on the court, we started turning the ball over, like you said, and I think our confidence level just went down as we kept turning the ball over more and more and um, stopped playing as a team. Yeah. You know, I think we've already taken away that we know we can play. We know we can do it. We just got to come out, and um, once we step out on the court, we've got to be ready and come out as we've played all the times before. This is John Schultz reporting for the Holland Sentinel.